Well, hi, my name is David Henninger. This is my wife, Angie, and this is our story of Uncomfortable Grace. It was probably early, I guess, early in our marriage when we decided to start trying to have kids, and um, it was pretty evident after about a year or so that maybe something wasn't right. The the time went, so we, we were married in 94. We, um, you know, did the, the just her and I married thing for about a year and a half, two years. Uh, we then um, tried and pursued and prayed about uh, having a child or then adopting for the next eight years. We were kind of getting to a place where we thought, okay, well, maybe maybe we're just going to be those people that don't have kids. We'll be the, we'll be the cool aunt and uncle. Yeah. Shortly after we kind of came to that place of... I don't know if you want to call it resignation. Maybe it was resignation on my part. Um, there was an opportunity that came up through my work. It was somebody that I knew that was pregnant and um, not in some a good situation. And she was looking to give her child up for adoption. And um, we started praying about it. And when it came down to it and it was time for the baby to be born, we were there. We were in the delivery room. David cut the cord and we named her and we got to take her home. It's probably been like two days after we had had her home and we got a call from our attorney saying that um, the birth mom was having second thoughts. She hadn't signed the papers. Yeah, she hadn't signed the papers yet. Um, we got to have her over five days, mm-hmm. and and then we lost her. Yeah, I would pray and I would say, God, why, why would you only let me have her for five days? Like I'd rather have not had her at all, and not have to experience this kind of heartache. It didn't rock my faith in Jesus as my Savior, or that is there a God. It. It rocked how I viewed God, and could I trust Him? Could I trust Him with my heart? But it's one of the times where I had the most incredible growth in my faith. It, it, it's also a time where you get, well, real. Mm-hmm. You can become real intimate in your, at least for me, in, in my prayer time. God, here's here's what I think of you and what you've done. To to me, to my to my wife. What, what are you thinking? How, how, how is this good? In, in any part of this, how, how can you let this happen? You know, through that, uh, there were a number of, of, um, of passages that, you know, that we would go back to. And, mm-hmm. uh, and, and for Angie, it's taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's uh, in Psalm 27. Uh, but I know this, I will see the goodness of God here in the land of the living. So wait or rely. Have, have strength and confidence and wait on the Lord in that space and uh, out of the blue one day this nurse knew of a of, of a young lady and a, a child about to be born and would we be willing to consider and so I, I just left work and went over to the hospital and found Angie and talked about it and you know said hey I got this call and here's where we are and and, and we just kind of looked at each other and said, okay, um, yes. Um, you know, we trusted you. God said yes when it was easy. Will we do it again? Uh, I guess it was a few weeks later, we got a call from that, that uh, the child was born. Uh, and, and so we, we tell the story now that uh, although you weren't born to us physically we got to you as fast as we can and here's the speeding ticket I got on the way to you Riley is now uh, 70, she's about to graduate high school and go to college and um, you, you couldn't write this story you, you couldn't make this stuff up uh, the uh, the lavish goodness of God and how he does things and you think uh our plan B or plan C was God's plan A the whole time. Looking back and still going, look what God has done. 
uh, not just with uh, with our daughter, but in our in our marriage and in our individual uh, face and walk. And, uh, you know, when you when you see that you read that you know what what you meant for evil, God intends for good, for our good and for His glory. You think I. I how, how can that be? But then here we are. Every day, honestly, I am so grateful that I'm her mom. I, how, how, why, why did, why did God pour out all that grace on us? Because it wasn't, we didn't deserve it. And she is, she's amazing. And again, none of this was us. We were, we are weak and we are right. frail and faulty in our faith and we're not perfect, but he is gracious. And if you will cling to him no matter what, um, you will come out whole on the other side. 